Yeah, she's nodding at me, so I better start talking. Right, we're going to do an unboxing video. It's my first one, and I've tripped myself to a new Weber barbecue. Now, as you can see down here, this is my uh, Weber 42 centimetre, and it's been passed down through a couple of generations of the Fixter family and has ended up in my uh, possession. It's about 20 years old. It's not getting replaced, it's not getting upgraded, it's just the fact that I need more real estate. So I decided to go for the, the 57. Get to unboxing. Again, any excuse to use my uh, old hickory? You watch me go and scratch the barbecue now. Let's get it opened up. It's like big boy Christmas. Let me just have a drink. Oh my God. There's some instructions. Typical man, don't need them. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to get some tools. Let's get to uh, taking these all out. I'll do a quick time lapse and then you'll see it at the end. Now that I picked the instructions back up off the floor after being told off by Grace, apparently I've got to explain to you all What's in the box? Using the nice simple instructions that have got pictures. I like following pictures. According to the instructions, we need a block of wood. We need a hammer. We need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And just for me, you need an old hickory just in case. Some wood chips over there, that's for treating. Right. Let's have a look at the contents. We'll whip it out of the box. We start with the uh, bottom shelf. It's in the box. One of the things I would say is it is really well packaged. I'll just pop them down there. We have one leg. Again, really well packaged. Two legs. Three legs. Again, I will pick all them pieces up in a minute and pop them in. So, three legs. We have, oh, heck, of the lid. And I have gone for the gloss black just to sort of keep the red and black theme going. So, uh, I'm going to be buried in packaging soon. More packaging. More packaging. We have the base. I'll just pop that down here for a second. I don't want to uh, scratch. We have a charcoal scoop, which is provided. I'm, I'm sure that'll be really handy. One ash pan. More packaging. More packaging. I'll burn all that in the chimney, maybe. A couple of feet, feet, wheels with Weber on. Oh no. I'll pick that up later. We have the 57 centimeter grill. And Grace has already said for my uh, Christmas present, she'll buy me a new cast grill. What do you mean? What do you mean now? She will. So, 57 centimetres, nice big chunks of meat are going on that. And we have the, oh, that's quite good that, the charcoal grate. Again, nice thick gauge metal. And then check what we've got in here. We've got a couple of bags of goodies. We have our handles we have the lid we have the tool seems to be in the handle part here that they refer to in it's instead of having a spanner it's a nice little uh, plastic spanner i'll not lose that and then we have all of our vents springs 
and other bits that if I open now I'll probably lose. So I'm going to use this box here to open all my bits into. What I shall do now, now that I can confirm all the bits are in, and again, like I say, everything's well packaged in all the individual sections, I shall uh, get to building. One of the things is when you're building, I think you always get everything laid out so you know what you're doing. I will pick up that foot that I threw on the floor a minute ago. There's all my bits. It's my charcoal basket that I don't need for the minute. Right. We're getting organised. Right. Starting with the instructions. We're going to start with the base and go from there. Cue the uh, time lapse and I'll try and find some funky music to put over the top. As uh, Grace pointed out to me uh, just a minute ago, from unboxing to as you sit in front of you, it took us 20 minutes. And that was with me uh, clatting about with stuff on the tables and trying to do it in front of the camera. So I'm sure that uh, anyone can get it knocked up in uh, around 20 minutes or even less than 20 minutes. The instructions are really easy. I'll just come over to the screen. Each page tells you exactly what tool or what uh, bolt, nut and bolt you need. So really nice and simple to follow. Nicely put together. Nice big cooking area. Can't wait to get that used. Oops, a daisy. We've got the charcoal scoop for measuring out charcoal. So that'll be nice and handy. And all it took was a, an hammer I didn't actually use the Phillips, I just used a flat blade and then that handy little plastic tool which I've left down on the floor over there and I'm not going to go get now. I hope you enjoyed the video, look out for me cooks on the Weber kettle. I'll uh, hopefully put some over here but until I start doing them you'll see some of my other videos. If you enjoyed give us a like, subscribe, comment, look out for some Weber cooks. <laughs>